Welcome back to the Weber Kettle Series brought to you by Fogo Charcoal here on Chud's Barbecue, everybody. My name is Bradley Robinson, and today we're going to be cooking up some absolutely fantastic crispy chicken wings on the Weber Kettle. Coming up! These are some chicken wings. Pat them dry. And like I say in all my chicken wing videos, or rib videos for that matter, whenever you have the option to buy something pre-butchered or something you can butcher yourself, I recommend doing it yourself. One, because it's a lot of fun, it's good practice. And two, because the wings that were already broken down were an extra dollar a pound. So by taking the 10 seconds to do this, you're saving yourself a good amount of money. And there's not much to it. You just aim between the joints and give it a nice snip. Decently heavy knife is what you're after. And you get all these wing tips, which make for great little snacks and are perfect for making stock and you know how much I love making the stocks. Or you could leave them whole, you know? Love a good whole wing on the old Weber kettle. But there we go, in real time, broken down. And of course, you can go on with whatever rub you like for your smoky grilled chicken wings. For me, I'm going for some crispy skin action, so I'm gonna keep it real simple with some kosher salt, good amount of granulated garlic. The garlic is really gonna help give it that nice golden brown color, give it that nice roasty chicken skin flavor. And then a little bit of black pepper, just for good measure. But it just depends on what you're going for, you know? if you want a nice sweet rub on there that'll work or you could also just leave them naked you know whenever i'm frying wings i rarely season them ahead of time anyway because the sauces have plenty of flavor to go around but just a nice little dusting of salt granulated garlic and black pepper is all i need and now into the fridge these go for the next little bit to kind of dry brian let these skins dry out a little bit on this wire rack while we go ahead and get some sauces ready starting with one of my favorite sauces for chicken wings which is a maple sriracha Starting with some maple syrup, Beep. as well as some sriracha. Shocker, I know. And the best part about this sauce is that you can really dial it into exactly how sweet and how spicy you like it. Next up, we're gonna go in with a little bit of some soy sauce granulated garlic, granulated onion, and a whole bunch of some sesame seeds. And we're just gonna bring that up to a simmer real quick, make sure all those spices are hydrated and everything is melted and evenly combined. And once nice and boobling, we're gonna go in with a nice big knob of some cold butter, just to give this a nice velvety, silky finish. Beautiful. Love it! Now we can't talk about wings without talking about buffalo sauce. It is the best sauce for chicken wings for a reason. And you're probably expecting me to make my own from scratch, but that is not the case, because today we're going with some of this stuff. Good old Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce. If I was gonna make my own buffalo sauce, I would not be happy unless it tasted exactly like this stuff. Because this is what I'm used to, this is the OG, and for me, it's the perfect heat to rich to saucy balance that chicken wings are all about. But that being said, we've got our maple sriracha sauce, we have got our buffalo sauce, and if we're talking buffalo sauce, you know we need a blue cheese dip to go along with it. Starting with one egg, a small shot of Dijon mustard, one garlic clove, and a nice cheek of lemon juice. Let's get that nice and fluffed up a little bit, and then we'll start going in with some avocado oil. Little by little, drop by drop. Beautiful. And we've just made ourselves one cup of mayonnaise. Mmm. Oh, that's good stuff. Needs a pinch of salt, but we'll deal with that later. Next up, we're going in with some heavy cream, as well as some sour cream. And of course, I'll have the recipe in the description box down below. Next up, a shot of Worcestershire sauce and some blue cheese crumbles. And for a little color, we'll go with some chives as well. And our blue cheese sauce is done. Make sure to taste it for seasoning. Oh yes, please. Oh, so thick, lovely, beautiful. And of course, we're gonna go in with a little more blue cheese crumble because I like a chunky blue cheese dressing. Don't know about you guys. But if you don't, you can mix all of it in at once. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, so thick, so blue cheesy. And if you're more of a ranch person than a blue cheese, then you can go ahead and, uh, well, never mind. This is a family channel. Perfect. Basically what I got going on here is a super hot fire on one side. Vents on the bottom are wide open. The water baffle is removed because I'm trying to get this thing as hot and convective as possible. So when we put the lid on, 
vents over the food, wide open. We should get a ripping hot convective fire and basically mimic an air fryer. It's at this stage you could throw a couple of wood chunks in there if that's your style, but today I'm going for a nice clean crispy wing with that beautiful charcoal flavor. But if you want some smoke, you could do that too. So I'm gonna cook these as hot and fast as possible and we'll check back in in a little bit. 20 minutes into this cook, let's see how these wing dings are looking. Ooh, very nice. We've been cooking at like 400, 425 this whole time, nice and hot and fast. And they are probably already done internal from an FDA standpoint. But now we're gonna go through and hit them with some sprayable duck fat. And because this fire is so hot, this oil is gonna heat up really quick on the surface of these wings and basically deep fry the skins, giving us an extra crispy bite. Any spray oil will do, but you know, duck fat tastes great. So I highly recommend it. And we'll shut this down, let it go for another little bit. After 45 minutes of cook time, these wings are already looking absolutely beautiful, nice and crispy. I mean, come on folks, what's not to like about that? Just listen, tongs don't lie. But as you can see, I've got these divided into two sections here. One's on the left here will be our maple sriracha, one's on the right will be our classic buffalo. So what I'm gonna do is employ my very high tech squirt bottle hanging out of the sauce bottle situation and just Give those a nice heavy misting. And as for these guys over here, we're just gonna paint on some wonderful glaze. Oh yes, please. Smells so good over here. It's the beauty of doing wings, folks. You could fill this Weber up with wings, do as many different flavors as you like. Whew, it's getting hot though. You could also pull these off and toss them. But when I'm doing grilled wings like this, especially when they're going offset, I like to let that sauce kind of cook on a little bit. Beautiful. <laughs> Give those another 10, 15. And just like that, these beautiful, smoky, crispy wings are off the pit, resting down so we can dive right on in. Gotta love that, folks. Beautiful buffalo wings with some maple sriracha wings. I topped these off with a little more sesame seed and some scallions. We've got our beautiful homemade blue cheese dressing. And I tell you what, I am ready to dive right on into these. I tell you, folks, the secret to cooking chicken wings, no matter how you're doing it, deep frying, in the oven, in the air fryer, on the Weber kettle, is to cook them hot enough. You know. These were at 200 degrees-ish when I pulled them off, but you gotta get at least into that 185 range because this is dark meat, you know? There's a lot of connective tissue and fat in there that we really need to break down. We want that skin to be crispy, and if you pull them off at 165, they are going to be rubbery and they are going to be trash. So, I think it's time to see how these came out. And since I'm holding this one, we'll do this one first. Shall we give it the old bone twist? Ooh, it's sticky. Boop, boop. Beautiful, boneless wing. Hello. Mm, it's like spicy candy in the best way possible. Crunchy, tender, flavorful, sweet, yet spicy. Mm. I mean, what's not to love about that, folks? So good. Ow. Mm, mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Damn, that was good. You gotta love the maple sriracha. It's like eating a rib, you know? It's sticky, it's sweet, it's tender. It pulls off the bone, but doesn't fall off the bone. You got that extra textural difference from the crunch from the seeds and the crispy skin. And you got that little bit of freshness from the green onions on top. Highly recommend. Let's see how these buffalo wings came out, shall we? Ooh. Do a little dip, dip, dip in the old blue cheese, shall we? Ow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was so good. It looks and eats just like a fried chicken wing. So tasty. So tasty. Mm -hmm. I don't care. As much as I love this wing, you cannot beat a classic buffalo wing dipped in blue cheese. It is my favorite flavor combination of all time. Boop. This is a fantastic blue cheese. Thickened up a bit in the fridge. Might need to water it down with a little more cream so it's a little more creamy. Oh. It's so good, so, so good. That is a good blue cheese sauce. Mm. Again, I really like how it's not overly smoked. Wings are so small that they can get overly powered with smoky flavor really quick. I prefer a fried wing over any other type of wing, but this method is definitely my second choice because it's not too smoky. It's got that kiss of fire flavor, but it's still crispy. The sauce is cooked on, meat is cooked perfectly. Really nothing to complain about. And it was super easy, super quick cook. And if you had a big cooker, like on the offset behind me, you could load up with a hundred of these things and pump them out in 45 minutes for a football party. <laughs> Game over. Boop. Mm. I'm keeping this recipe around though. That is so good. Maple sriracha, buffalo, blue cheese dip, ranch. You're always a winner when you're eating chicken wings. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. All right, y'all, I'm gonna eat these in shame, but first it's time for the boneless official taste test. 
<laughs> All right, y'all, and that is it. That is how to make some absolutely fantastic crispy chicken wings on the Weber kettle. Whether you're going with maple sriracha or your classic buffalo with a beautiful, creamy, delicious blue cheese dressing, as long as you follow the proper techniques, you'll end up with some beautiful chicken wings every single time. But that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. Let YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. Feel free to drop a comment down below letting me know what you want to see me cook next. If you give this recipe a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. I'd love to see what y'all are cooking. Big shout out to Fogo Charcoal. Thank you for sponsoring the Weber Cattle Series. Until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace.